it's Halloween. Not just any Halloween. Tonight is Grundy's night. There, the swampland, the birthplace of Solomon Grundy. It was 150 years ago, on this very night, in that very same swamp, that a monster rose from the muck and slouched toward Gotham to wreak havoc against the very architects of our city. During the total lunar eclipse, Grundy will rise again. How do you know so much about this? Because we are the granddaughters of Emmett Bolton, one of Grundy's victims. And Grundy could come for us at any moment. Let's get out of here! I was a bit spooked by the chaperone's Solomon Grundy mask. <laughs> well, it is Grundy's night. Not all legends are legend, Master Bruce. The Batman's faced a lot of things that go bump in the night, Alfred. <laughs> but swamp zombies? The Batwave. Oh, it would appear something has gone bump, sir. What would Halloween be if I didn't get to wear my costume? <laughs> It says here that Gotham Swamp wasn't always a swamp. Once it was a lake, home to the mostly Eastern European laborers who built Gotham City. But three businessmen, Bolton, Winslow and Parrish, conspired to make the area a dumping ground for the industrial waste created by Gotham's construction. Several of the laborers who lost their homes were versed in magic from their native countries. On All Hallows Eve, during a lunar eclipse, they used that magic to form Solomon Grundy from the very waste of Gotham Swamp. Since the laborers and their families lost everything they owned, so too would Grundy haunt Gotham's founding fathers and their families through the years, leaving them destitute. <sighs> if there was a Grundy, we'd have seen him by now. Yeah. Those old ladies are kooks. Let's bail. It's Grundy! Ah! 